Okay, so I'm excited today. By request, we are going to learn how to draw a taco. So there are a lot of things that you can do to adjust this drawing and make it your own. There are so many ways to have fun with it. We're gonna get started with the basic taco and we'll talk about some other options that you have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch lightly with pencil a horizontal line. Okay, from here, we are gonna come up like we're making a rainbow. And around. And bring this side up a little bit more. Trying to make it fairly symmetrical meaning that it's about the same on both sides. So I'm sketching this in lightly so that I can get this laid out. Okay, so once I have this, um, I'm gonna start putting in those details of the taco, so like the lettuce, the tomatoes, the cheese, um, the meat, whatever you put in your taco, beans, okay? So let's start by adding some lettuce in first. So what we're really gonna do is just come out and do like three bumps and they do not need to be symmetrical. Um, they don't need to be all the same. And maybe I'll put a tomato in here. Peeking through, I'm gonna do another line in there. And another piece of lettuce. I'm gonna have the lettuce overlap in front of this. You can really draw your lettuce any way that you want. And again, each piece of lettuce could be a little bit different. They don't all have to look exactly the same. Um, let's see here. Maybe there's a bit of meat or beans. I'm going to make this part look a little bit more like... I'm going to make it look a little more like a cloud almost for the meat. And then again, one of the things that will make that look different from the lettuce is... Um, making more bumps and making them more rounded so if you look at this one it's coming down and up down and up and this is more of a sharp point so these are curved this is a sharp point okay so then i'm going to pop in another piece of lettuce i'm going to overlap so i'm doing more of a curve there again on my lettuce and go back in and erase where my lettuce and meat are overlapping. And let's do another piece of lettuce back here. Okay, maybe um, behind here we'll see some meat coming out of there. Okay, so let's put in a few more things. So maybe another tomato, a couple tomatoes popped in there. So it's just a rounded curve. Come back in and do another rounded curve. And maybe there's a little bit more meat behind here. And maybe another piece of lettuce or some more meat. Um, I'm gonna add some cheese on top of this. So that's just another tomato as I'm still deciding what else I'm putting in here. Another piece of lettuce. Okay. And maybe one more piece of lettuce over here. Okay, let's throw some cheese on this guy. Um, for the cheese, I'm just gonna do some skinny rectangles. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm 
gonna toss them going in different directions. Again, you know, I'm always thinking about overlapping to help make things look more realistic. Uh, this obviously is not gonna be realistic, but to get, I should say, to give it more depth. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start cleaning up this taco, erasing anywhere I have things overlapping that no longer need to be overlapping. I'm gonna wait to really clean up the lines until I go back in with a Sharpie. So if you have a Sharpie, we're gonna be using that. And if you don't have a Sharpie, that's no big deal. You can use a black pencil or you could just leave it in regular pencil. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down from here and just do a gentle curve from that side of the taco up and I'm gonna just bring a little line up to indicate the back of the taco. Actually, I'm gonna pull this line out. I'll we'll just stick with this one. Just this little curve here, okay? All right, <clears throat> so now let's have some fun with this taco. Um, there are so many different ways you can do eyes, a lot of fun different ways. I'm going to do um, kind of the cutesy eyes that some of you are familiar with, which is where you draw some larger circles. So I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going to put this. And then I'm going to over here, try and get them about the same size. It'd be great if it were exactly the same size, but do your best. Okay, and then I'm going to map out where I'm going to put the highlights or reflections in the eyes. So I'm going to draw a bigger circle here, another one over here, then two smaller circles across from that. Okay, and then we can add in some eyebrows if we want. Um, we could add a mustache, we can add a mouth, um, you can add a sombrero, roses, wh whatever makes you happy, we can add. Um, and you know what? I think I should actually spread these eyes apart. They're a little close together. Or I guess I could leave them. Um, so let's do maybe, hmm. I'm gonna add some eyelashes to this one. And maybe some rosy cheeks. And maybe a cute little mouth. So I'm gonna experiment with this style of mouth. I'm gonna do a curve here. And I'm gonna give this cute little taco an open mouth. Like she's excited about something and ready to talk to somebody. You could add on arms and legs. Um, there's really no end to the possibilities. You could add a thought bubble and turn this into a cartoon. Um, I'm gonna add some eyebrows up here. And then, hmm. Do I want to put a rose or something on this little taco? Um, hmm. Could also do a little sombrero with a rose. Maybe we'll do that. I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about this. So let's go ahead and do a little rose on this. So essentially we're going to start with a swirl. This is stylized, so we're not worried about this being a realistic rose. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle my pencil a bit when I do my swirl. And that's going to form the outside of the rose. And we'll put maybe another one right behind it. So I'm just wiggling my pencil. Um, I'm going to make this one smaller and maybe some more leaves on there. And again, I can make adjustments to anything I'm not happy with, so I might take out a piece of cheese and move it. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to be finishing up my details and um, going over this with Sharpie. And you're welcome.
Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is go ahead back in with my eraser. I was erasing, I noticed I missed one line here. Okay, and then if you have time, it'd be great to go in and add some color to your taco. Now, it's completely up to you what colors you use, whether you use markers. I'm gonna do some adding with some colored pencils, just for fun, see what I come up with. I just used two different colors of red. I used red, orange, and just regular old red. So I used red, orange for the outside edge of the tomato, and regular red for the inside. I used a dark green for the piece of lettuce in the back and I am using yellow green for the lettuce in the front. So even in this cartoon style drawing, I'm using uh, techniques for depth by including um, overlapping and by using um, warmer colors in the front. So I don't mean that this is red or orange or yellow, it's um, a warmer green than this one. So using the warmer color in the front. And that also helps to create depth in our work. So I just added regular red over top of that. And of course you could do as much shading and blending on these as you want. I'm working pretty quickly today. 